We are Casey and Savannah, and we've been best friends for 10 years. Good thing she's not looking at They're like a printed, I can see the mountains actually. Over the years, we have been on many adventures, including plenty of travel, hiking the John Muir Trail, starting multiple businesses, building out a camper van, and creating a little homestead in the city. You even may have seen one of our mini DIY stock tank pool videos. We recently bought five acres of raw land in the Upper Cumberland area of Tennessee and are embarking on our biggest adventure yet. Follow along as we build our off-grid homestead from the ground up. So we have discovered a pretty big problem in the tiny home that is going to set us back and kind of have to go rework some things before we move forward in the house. And that's pretty overwhelming. We were talking about that last night and just kind of trying to figure out what our plan of action is because we're feeling pretty overwhelmed about the task that we have at hand before we can ever move in to this house. I definitely think when it gets warmer outside, it's gonna be a lot easier to kind of push through and um, do everything we need to do. But the thing is, we have to put everything on hold because we have to go to Nashville. This will probably be a good little break for us um, to be away from the land and take a break from this project. But everything in the house is going to be put on hold for about a week. <laughs> I saw a seed catalog in there. Yeah, we got our mail forwarded, by the way. Of course, most of it's probably gonna be stuff like this. Drop mail. But, I love mail. Johnny sent us not one, but two seed catalogs. So I'm sure you are wondering, Casey and Savannah, why are you in Nashville? While we did move to our land in October, we've been there full time, we also, at that same time, moved everything that we were keeping out of this house. This is the house I'm in right now. This is the house that we lived in in Nashville for six years. This house actually is owned by Casey's parents. We rented it from them the entire time that they owned it. But we have actually a whole story explaining that whole situation, a whole video recorded about that. I will um, link to it in the description box and I'll put a little link to it in this video also so you can go watch that. But the house has been sold and it's actually closing on march 3rd which is my birthday and it is today is i don't know what today is but we have to have our stuff out by february 28th i believe it's six days so it's february 22nd right now okay anyway we left a lot of stuff here to stage the house for selling so it didn't just look empty and it's all stuff that we are not keeping so we are here for five days four or five days to sell everything we have in this house it's like a massive amount of stuff or give away get rid of everything that the people do not want to keep who are purchasing this house so that is why we are here we have a lot of work to do and everything at the land is put on hold until we can get this job done a lot of our stuff is already um, moved out like we sold a lot of furniture not that long ago so I thought about giving you a little teensy tour of the house 
that is not going to look anything like what it looked like when we lived here. So I'll probably show you some photos too. Also, it's supposed to be rainy all week, so we are glad to be out of the elements for a few days. What is going on in here, Casey? I am going through all of our craft supplies, which this, this is not all of our craft supplies. We've already gone through all of our craft supplies and kept the majority, a lot of it. Um, this is just stuff that we're not keeping. So I'm trying to group it in things that make sense and go together. So like this is a jewelry making collection, obviously yarn. This is leather goods and leather making things over here. This is a massive stash of pens and markers. A whole... This is an <laughs> unused makeup. I haven't even looked at that yet. You may think it is strange that we have a lot of unused makeup, and that is a little strange, but um, if you are a follower over on Instagram, um, you would probably know that we used to do a lot of branded content and are following at some point meant something and people would send us makeup and stuff like that and we it was always more than we could ever use and we would get we've given so much of it away but somehow there are still some of that here so we'll definitely be selling or giving that away it's never been used this is what our closet looks like now but this is where we kept a lot of our craft supplies so we have to go through all of this. We're doing a lot of our, sale, our selling on Instagram. We just post things in stories. Um, so we're doing a lot of posting on stories today. Once you see this, the sale will be completely over. Um, but we are considering have an in, having an in-person sale tomorrow night. So the next two days are just gonna be trying to sell everything we can. So we have to worry about moving the least amount of things out of here as possible. I thought, but she, I swear she's not been here. She's coming to buy and pick it up in like 10 minutes. Yeah. Jeez, clothing is crazy. I know. Instagram sales are insane. Um, <laughs> you start posting stuff and then you're still posting things, but people are trying to buy things. And if multiple you, people multiple trying to people and you're trying to keep everyone organized. And then as you know, in Instagram DMs, there's like three different locations where DMs come in. It's like the primary section, the general section, and the in request. Anyway, it's uh, it's like chaos, but we basically listed a good amount of clothes and just pretty quickly sold almost all of it. So, in case he's started to list the things that she's organizing that are of our craft supplies. So, it's gonna be a long day of selling things on Instagram. And at some point we have to decide if we're doing the sale in person tomorrow or not. Um, I think we both have gone back and forth on whether or not uh, we, when, nobody really wants to do that, but it's kind of like, could we get rid of a lot of stuff and make some money? Is there actually money to be made here or is it just, would that be a waste of time? Anyway, because when you go to a yard sale, you know, you're looking for a bargain. But, you know, we were selling clothes like Free People and Abercrombie & Fitch that were really in good condition. So, you know, it felt like they would sell better on Instagram. But when you have like a million things, you'll just like, well, I'd rather you buy this t-shirt for a dollar than, you know, take a million things to Goodwill or whatever. Or throw things in the trash, which we will try not to do very much. Yeah. So that's the decision to be made, but for now, we're just gonna keep listing things on Instagram that we think are worth anything at all. Um, and uh, that, that's gonna be our whole day. <laughs> so this, yes, that's the, our sales stuff is everywhere. And this is Nat Clean, but this is what our living room was. So the, the, I feel like this whole space right here might be the size Oh, no, no, no. This is bigger than our tiny home. 
this from here to there? You think our tiny room is smaller than this room? Because this room? room is wider than our yeah. tiny home. That's true. It's much wider. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this was the living room. This is a hallway. I'll go there in a second. Um, this is a cabinet I built that we don't know if we're taking that or selling it or what. This is our dining room. It. There used to be a photo of Stevie Nicks. Large yes. Here. And this is our table with more sale items on there. And we have a lot of plants that need the Lord. Uh, we actually sold a bunch of these already. There's the coffee. The coffee cart actually used to live here, and we had a neon sign in Casey. That's where she made her coffee. And then off of here is our kitchen. So here's the kitchen. Probably the thing I miss the most. <laughs> Um, oh my god, Casey was potting some things up. And we have this little nook. So lovely, lots of storage. We still have cans here because we left these for staging. We also have some onions that are trying to grow. And um, these are, and here's that spaghetti squash I was telling people about that is a year and a half old. And we, all of our sweet potatoes are in here that we dug up this year, but they have not made it to the land yet. All right, we are going on a little trip in the rain. I have to get some supplies. that we need to make our sale more efficient. Um, I'm gonna get some big Ziploc bags so that we can put the clothing in the bags and put the, whoever purchased it, put their name on the bag because we're doing a lot of local pickup stuff. Uh, we are doing some shipping things, which we will ship at the end of the week. But um, I was just thinking about how uh, far away we now live from the store. Um, if I wanna go to a Walgreens when we're at the land, I basically have to plan it out and it takes about 45 minutes to get there and so while we're here just definitely going to appreciate being able to just pop over to the store and get a few things that you need um, and it not take you all day. Do you think that we'll need any small Ziploc bags? All right. This is how we get upstairs. Oh yeah, it's worth All right, so this is where we just came upstairs, and then this is like a little sitting room. It's really small. Um, these, uh, honestly, this room and this room have been a few different things. Um, right now, this was set up as kind of like a exercise, relaxing yoga room, and so we had all our exercise equipment in here, but it was a guest room um, and a foster kid room at some point. But now, it's got all this stuff, and now also the light doesn't work. And then, looking this way, we have this little mural. We painted this mural. This is one of my favorite things up here that we just got, bought those at an antique store. <laughs> and There's a bathroom over there. There used to be a lot of decor on this wall. Mm -hmm. And then this is a room. Wow, it's really dark in here. So this is also a guest room um, and a foster care room. We actually used to Airbnb both of these, this whole upstairs out. 
Um, but yeah, there's like this little kid's nook with books and yeah, pretty closet full of stuff that we have to go through. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> that is maybe the world's tiniest bathroom. Maybe not, but. You should have seen it before though. It was, it was terrible. Yeah, it definitely, the space is used really efficiently, but um, there's a toilet back there behind, like where you can't see it, but um, there's a little stand-up shower right there. And, oh yeah, you can sell that. And that's the backyard, you can see out the window. Casey says there. we cannot sell these. I love them. Oh my God, I love them so much. They're actually pretty comfortable and we don't have a lot of seating that could be put that's away true. that's cute. That's true. Okay, approved. I think I got them at the National Flea Market. Yeah, they're fun. We are getting rid of most of this stuff. So if somebody has their heart tied to something, like there's this mirror in my room that I can't get rid of, um, we're allowing it. But we are getting rid of so much stuff. Like 98% things. Yeah. There will be much less stuff, although it doesn't feel like it, on our land. We're in the middle of our kimono sale. It's a little bit chaotic. <laughs> um, we have, we started out possibly, how many kimonos are well, we? We had, I can't, I think I kind of like 48. And then when I went through to, to like see which ones had any flaws or stuff, because some of them were like, we, we used to wear a lot. And so then I think I narrowed it down to like 38 or 36 or something like that. Yeah. That, that were like in good condition. And that's, yeah, we've sold a lot. I don't know how many. Like it's so crazy because people are like, I want this and you're waiting for them to pay. And then someone else is like, I also want this. And so kind of keeping track of everything is a little chaotic, but I don't know. I don't think I've explained this. Um, 2013 to 2017, we made like we hand dyed fabric and sewed kimonos um, under the Hay Wanderer brand. And we, yeah, we did that for that for three years and 2014 to 2017. Yeah. Yeah, three years, and um, it was that was wild. So we had it was Hey Wonder was basically a clothing brand those three years, and we have a very large personal collection of them. And we had kept a lot of them, almost like one of each, not really, but anything that we thought was interesting, we would keep. And now that is just not feasible to have anymore. So we definitely have picked a few for ourselves, I think. I think we packed those before um, we moved. But now there's all of these that we are hoping to make some money off of um, to put towards more land projects. So let's see how this goes. So this is our photo setup, <laughs> this light right here. And then I just hang the article of clothing and drop your phone. <laughs> um, this is something that we made, and this was actually just for me and Casey, but we're selling them. Very nice top, I love it. Okay, anyway, so all I do is take a photo. So after I take the photo, then I put it into my Lightroom app and edit it because oh, Lightroom just closed, how rude because you can't really, like the way pictures are taken on your phone, they're just not bright enough. So I just brighten it. You really can't tell what's happening there. And then that's what I post on Instagram. Okay, and then I put the photos into a story and this one has a little uh, circle because I wanted to show the sleeve detail, price, and then just post it and then we wait. So when someone buys something and they actually pay, I, I write their name down, their address, their Instagram handle to just in case, and then I just fold this stuff up and put it in a Ziploc baggie so it's all organized and try my best to keep it neat. <laughs> Two kimonos in one baggie is a big request. <laughs> and then that's 
the stack that she's done so far with their cards inside so we don't want to track picking up over. oh yeah we've got pickup stuff over there so yesterday we did a lot more moving we had to move a massive treadmill out of our upstairs area and move it down the teeny tiny tiny staircase um, and tiny door move it through all of that downstairs um, because we sold it and that was interesting this treadmill I wish we would have documented what it looks like but basically on its side is the only way to go down these stairs because it's so skinny because it's the door. Yeah, the it's so narrow. But it has this mechanism right here that wants to pop out. And we have it tied, but it's broken a bunch of strings before. Anyway, I'm about to hack it into chains, hack it up <laughs> with a chainsaw and light it but on fire. But we sold it. But we sold it. So, so anyway, that's stressful. Well, we did it, guys. Our treadmill is going to a new home. We did some more selling on Instagram yesterday. This cactus we bought when it was about this big. It's been growing in our studio ever since. I made this pot. We were selling that. Well, actually, we've already sold it. Someone had purchased these four plants. We are still trying to figure out what to do with these because we would like to keep all of these. But right now we don't have a consistently heated spot to keep them. So they can't, they don't, they can't do anything below like 55 degrees. They'll be really sad. Um, we decided not to have an in-person sale. Instead what we did is sold everything that was worth anything online. And today we are having a dumpster delivered so we can get rid of anything that just needs to go into the trash um, right in our driveway and we need to go through everything to decide what is worth giving away and if there's anything else left to sell. I remember I started doing a tour of our house and did not finish everything, so I'm just gonna show you some quick spaces. This is my guitar that I'm packing up, but this is, so this is the living room I've already I showed you. Thin. What'd you say? It's oh, <laughs> not, nope, not happening. <laughs> um, so this hallway is, that is the bathroom. This side is my room. This side is Casey's room. This side is what goes upstairs. And then this is a little telephone nook that we kept, which kind of looks like a shape, a piece of bread. I just noticed that yesterday. Um, my room is pretty small, but I actually think that this size is maybe a little bigger than the space Casey and I will be sharing in the tiny house for now. Um, but outside my window, you can see the backyard right there. And I'm actually, I'm keeping that mirror. Love that mirror, keeping all these curtains. I'll show you, I'll show you a picture of my room when it was in its glory days. And then over here is Casey's room. And um, her room's really fun. I'll sit, put some pictures up of that. She also looks into the backyard. She had the big room. The <laughs> Um, she had the big room at the last house. Yeah, you? I had the big room at our last house. She has the big room at this house. Yeah, We're going to have the same rooms. We will have the same size rooms whenever we add on and have our own rooms in the tiny house. Which at that point will just be an extra small house. It might be a little bit bigger than a tiny house. Alright, let me show you the bathroom. The bathroom is very tiny, but this is something that was renovated while we lived here because the ceiling fell out completely. Um, but yeah, we have this really awesome tile and I wish maybe we'll bring this type of thing back into our tiny home. And we had the clear shower doors installed because we had a curtain originally and it just is such a tiny space. So, you know, it just felt really not open, but this window has made it feel a lot more open and honestly this tiny bathroom would be greatly appreciated if we had it on the land also this closet used to be faced to Casey's room over here and it was like this really strange closet to her room 
and we just had it switched around so we could have some storage in the bathroom. So that's that. Super cute. And I showed you the upstairs yesterday, but that is that. When we came into town, we made plans with a couple of our friends and uh, to go to dinner to catch up. And uh, we're doing that today. Today's Thursday. Since we're in town, uh, where our bank is, she is getting her new debit card inside. And then we've got to go pick up some things at Target. Then we're going to dinner. Uh, we'll probably sort through some more stuff tonight. It's really boring, which is why I haven't really done a lot of video. We're just going through every box, everything that exists in that house. We have stuff in the basement that we're pulling up and just sorting through it, you know? Trash, giveaway, sell. And I actually right at this very moment um, am editing some photos because I am uh, about to list some things, more things on Instagram. It's been so long. Since we've been to a Target, I can't even remember. It's definitely been since we've. We live so far away from. Yeah, we live an hour and a half away from one now. So our old house is like 15 minutes from one. Good morning. Um, we are enjoying Redheaded Stranger. It, we have to eat here. There's a few places that we have to eat at when we come home. Um, what we what we revel in about being back home is that I can order most food I want and have it delivered in like 30 minutes. So when Casey says home, she means Nashville because yeah, it's yeah. not our home anymore. Yeah, Nashville's not, <laughs> Nashville's not home anymore. It still does kind of feel like home. Um, and I do, I do love Nashville. I always will, but um, Especially for their gluten-free restaurant options. <laughs> yeah. So Redheaded Stranger is they have breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos. That's actually one thing that Barat Nashville really doesn't have a lot of. You can get a lot of breakfast burritos. You can get a lot of um, things like that, but not a breakfast taco, which is which is a very Texas thing, which is of course where Savannah's from, and something that she got me into loving so we definitely order that we ate at chili's last night with uh, one of our best friends so you know it's a balance so the shipping portion of our journey has begun um we aren't selling anything else for the most part that's going to be shipped i say that but things <laughs> change every five seconds um but we have a whole basket full of things that need to be shipped so casey's got the shipping station set up and Casey is working on printing all the labels. We actually have to do this a lot for our other business, so it is no stranger to us to set up this whole system. So she's got all the packages um, with people's addresses over there. She's got the actual envelopes here that she's putting everything in. I'm packaging one of them up right here. And then she just prints out the label. Casey is off to the post office and UPS and ship all of the stuff that we sold for shipping. And what's fun for us, not really, I'm joking, is that um, we've been spending so much time inside and working on getting rid of all the stuff inside, but we still have to worry about all of this stuff on the outside. Someone bought this table, so they'll be coming, um, I think tomorrow or sometime this weekend to get it. Someone bought this thing, and someone bought our stock tank pool. We actually had a 10 foot stock tank back here, and we sold that. We originally wanted to take it to the land with us, but have so much going on there. We didn't want to store another tank, because we already have two there, and uh, we definitely are going to set one up at some point this year, but we just figured we'd go ahead and sell it, um, because we do have tanks so we can set up a different one and we were able to make some money off of that and then this one is the one that we set up and we did a hot tub with it we actually did a hot tub with both of them but this one is more like a two-person kind of like dipping pool if you will it's got this cool design on it and the water is really dirty but i am draining that because someone is coming tomorrow to get that whole thing i actually have a tour 
um, that shows everything a lot better. I have a garden tour. I have a backyard tour before we had all the gardens and then I have a garden tour. So there's definitely um, videos where you can see what this looks like in its glory, like in the middle of summer. Um, it's really sad right now. These are apple trees. I tried to talk Casey into bringing those with us. I'm really sad about not being able to take the apple trees with us because we've had them for, this will be year three, so uh, we're just never going to see the fruit of those trees, which is fine. But we're definitely going to get more trees and more than two apple trees uh, on the land at some point. I know, but what I got to do Oh, hey. hey. left to sell but mostly that's what's gone so I wanted to show you what we're doing with everything else um, that is worth anything so we've listed on Instagram that we have all this free stuff we're lining um, the driveway and our side porch with all stuff that is worth something and Casey also posted about this in our neighborhood Facebook group and Basically, we're just at this place where we can't, we don't have time to sell anything else. We're tapped out mentally. So we're just hoping that a lot of this stuff goes to anybody who might need it. And it's been really interesting. There's been uh, people who've gotten some really cool stuff. And, um, you know, everybody, this stuff might not be what any everybody wants. But um, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, clothes that have barely been worn craft supplies, records, books, like just all the stuff that we literally cannot take with us because we do not have space. So we're hoping that this is how we can get rid of most of the rest of the stuff that we have left in the house. Um, but there's still a lot to go through in the house. Uh, so we're just kind of like bringing stuff out little by little. We've actually gone through the living room and the dining room. Um, this table we have sold and tomorrow we are delivering it to someone right down the street. And we've mostly gone through the entire studio, just a few things left in here that need to be moved. Um, the kitchen is mostly stuff that we're giving away. We've already gone through that. Minus like a few things like our sweet potatoes and that kind of stuff. It's been really cool um, to sell our stuff to people all over the country. We shipped a lot of things yesterday to people who bought things that were small enough to be able to be shipped. And um, just a lot of our neighbors coming out and just taking things that they need and having conversations with everyone. It's been really nice. Um, while the work of getting rid of everything and listing everything is not fun, um, it has been nice to know that a lot of our stuff will get a second life or a third life because a lot of it we didn't buy brand new uh, with somebody else. So today is our last day at the house. We have to move out. Today's the day. It's all happening. Casey's moving her mattress by herself. 
Um, but we don't have too many things left to do. But, um, yeah, we should be out of here before lunchtime, yeah? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. So we want to get back um, while it's still light out. Yeah. Don't love driving to our land at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody asked, because 
of course, people want to know, like, why are you getting rid of all this stuff or, you know, what's going on? And I was like, well, we're downsizing from a 2,000 square foot house to a little over 300 square foot house. And someone was like, oh my gosh, is that hard? You know, like, kind of how do you feel about that? And obviously, you know, it's nice to have all the space, but there is sort of a prison to it, if you will, having so much stuff. Yeah. Um, that you have to keep up. It, it, it was really hard to keep this house clean, honestly. It was very hard to keep it clean because there was just so much, so much stuff so everywhere. Much space. And it's so much space. And so I, while I understand tiny homes kind of get messier quicker, but it takes such less time to keep it clean. So honestly, I look forward to that. It's been nice yeah. not having that many clothes to worry about, just like, yeah. You know, there's just less thing to keep track of, and you, you kind of drown in having a lot of stuff, I think. Yeah. On to the next chapter. On to the next chapter. Fully on to the next Fully chapter. Fully, yes. I mean, obviously, if you've been following us on YouTube, you know that we've been building up on the land, but we are, um, it's all, we're only now, like, fully in. So if you don't already follow us on YouTube, um, definitely subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Um, from here on out, there will be basically no more natural, no more natural content. content. It'll be fully off-grid. Um, and we're excited for this next chapter. Bye guys. Bye guys. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Toast for the lost old eyes.